So as someone who um, has had the privilege in a past life to curate some of the exhibitions in this particular white cube, um, I consider myself a generalist, even though um, many of the, you know, some of the works that were shown today, you know, I think about um, Norm White's Helpless Robot was here. Um, Nell Tenhoff has had an exhibition here. Right beside her, Jessica Field has had an exhibition, and most recently, we've had an immersive exhibition that included AR by Jen Norton that just came down a, a few weeks ago. But I still consider myself a generalist. So when I'm surrounded by all of these experts, I'm inspired and I'm intimidated, um, but mostly inspired, knowing that there's just so much that we can do moving forward. Some of my questions are always practical because in my past life as the curator of this space, um, I've had to deal with budgets and organization and all of that. So when I think about the new media gallery and I think about Surrey and I think about how do you do this on the budgets that you have? How do you organize this? How do you spend a third of your time sitting at the front desk? Because when I used to be here, I would sit in my office for nine hours a day and get up for five minutes and have a pee every once in a while. And that's about it. So how you do that? So there, for me, there are so many questions um, that this symposium has raised, which I think is, is brilliant. That's the, the point. We don't have to have all of the um, all of these questions answered, but it's, it's a good way to, to start. So, Zainab, I'm going to pass it on to you for some of your reflections, and then if people have some ideas of, you know, what did you learn? What, what are you taking away? We'd be interested in knowing that. Yeah, um, so I, I think it's been a really interesting two days. Um, I am have been in the past uh, part of this field and this discourse as a, as a media artist myself and have, you know, from early days, from the 80s, worked along these, along, you know, at this sort of intersection of art, science and technology. Um, and, 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 I, and I guess that's, you know, I, I've been pushing for the public art gallery to also engage more with this because it is the context that we live in and and you know all those questions have come up about you know the inflexibility of the public art gallery space or the museum space how do we engage with it but there were there were twofold things that I wanted to that should come out of this for me as the director of OAG and, and working with the RMG was, was really two things. One is how do you bring the art gallery into this discussion and have them understand what the discourse has been for a very long time. This is not new. These conversations are not new. We're just in the continuum of where we are today in the discussion. And the other part of it was how do we, in very practical terms, make something happen, like we just did, right? We, we disrupted the chairs, and we brought in the cushions, and it was one simple suggestion, so easy to do. But how, and I think Rosemary asked Zach, the very, what would you do in this space? And all along I've been thinking about, you know, um, so we've talked about you know, how do we make these things happen? How can we? And we've heard such a range of stories, uh, contexts, situations in which things are actually happening. So there's that level of it, and then there was that bigger question of the bigger, like, can we actually change? Are we going to remain relevant? And if we are, can we make that quantum leap? And I know Niranjan will say, well, maybe it's already over, right? Maybe it's too late. Maybe, maybe it will always was over and we've just been playing this role as little ants do crawling around on the floor. But anyway, I don't want to end on that note uh, because we brought this together because we can make something happen. She's I believe that. Give me the mic. <laughs> You are not getting the mic at all. You're just going to sit here. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I wanted, we wanted, the RMG and the OAG Ideas Digital Symposium Forum wanted this to be of value to the art gallery sector. We wanted uh, you to be 
brought into this discourse and we hope you'll participate and learn more about it but we also wanted to give you some very practical things so but i don't we don't want to prescribe that so i am going to give the mic to niranjan but in a minute we really want to you to tell us what it is that you have come away with we had learning outcomes you know under the sessions we brought a wide wide range of speakers to you we want to know what did you come away with and what are some of the next things like is the rmg now going to go and visit the new media gallery and find out what they're doing and how they're doing it what what did you come away with that's what i want to know okay i'll give it to you <laughs> thank you zainab For a minute. yeah yeah <laughs> well Definitely, I, I agree with Zainab that this is not the time for, for us to uh, pontificate or even summarize. I think, you know, questions came from the floor, um, but I would like to give an image. No. <laughs> you know, we've had uh, the holodeck, um, we've had the Canucks, um, and you know, I am, in my 16 years here, assimilating, becoming Canadian, slowly, slow cooking, right? So I want to give this image, I can't even be sure if the name is right for that game where, you know, Canadians throw a heavy weight along the ice and then have other Canadians broom it. <laughs> what is that, curling? Yeah, that thing. Now, what a wonderful, wonderful image. Um, so it is over. But it has been over from the beginning. And I want to quote, uh, after Kumaraswamy, I think it was uh, a Christian philosopher, I think a theologian, Bohem, it was an everlasting beginning. God is creating the world now. And the world is over already. So, yeah, game over. But we can still, in our complicity, scrape the ice and direct that weight away from the ozone hole. And it's your job now. Perfect. Thank you. That's perfect. Well done. All right. So we want to hear from you. Linda spoke from her past curatorial place in this very space. Um, I don't know, Donna, as, as the CEO of do you, do you want to say what you've come away with, maybe, or could you articulate that? Or? Do you want to go? <laughs> um, in an effort to not pontificate, um, the one thing I think about is sitting in this room is that is everybody likes to underline the new in new media, um, but I think one of the things that's true of it is its histories, and its history is shared with the works in this room. And for as new as it is, it's not that different. Uh, and I think it's embracing the new doesn't mean abandoning the old or assuming that the new is coming from a vacuum. And I think it's the connectivity and the sameness that I would seek rather than the newness. Okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was connected to something I wanted to say and or ask really which was this question of maybe one of the strategies, I mean, because, you know, you come away with the idea, ooh, we're not suggesting throw everything else out of the museum and, and, and start all over again. But maybe one of the strategies is to actually invite artists who are familiar with the digital world and or curators to come in and to make proposals to the museum to find ways to re so to treat the collection in a sense as an archive that they then come and respond to. Um, that's just a, a thought or an idea. I think we're near the end of the day, and I think we've been sitting in chairs that aren't terribly comfortable. So um, just really, really briefly. Um, after this kind of conversation, it's sometimes important just to step away and let it breathe for a little bit. So I'm very interested to see where this goes from here and how we continue the conversation. Because if it stops here, 
we haven't accomplished what we set out to do. So I look forward to having that bit of breathing space and then determining what are our next steps. I, w I was oh, really uh, heartened um, by this idea that I heard again and again that through technology um, there's this desire to reach back and have human connections. Um, and this was, I think, um, echoed by so many people and it was, it was really heartening. It was, yeah, incredible. Um, in terms of um, uh, how you might afford to take this on, uh, Linda, um, digital artists have been making work for a long time with uh, very little, very little, very little funds, and um, have been—they're uh, really incredibly efficient uh, using obsolete technologies. Um, when something gets, um, you know, the the, the um, the tech sector gets rid of it, artists pick it up, you can get it for cheap. Um, so there's a lot to be learned from places like InterAccess, um, the people who um, you know, pr continue to produce there, uh, and artist-run culture in terms of how you might engage, because their, their budgets are much smaller than uh, public art galleries. So just saying that there should be some communication back and forth, and there's a lot of expertise there. I don't hope this doesn't sound insulting, but as an artist, um, this is the first time I've been to a conference where nobody talked about what is new media, which I think is huge progress. We didn't talk about it at all. Um, so I just wanted to say that's the first time I've ever gone to any conference where there's education and nobody talked about it. Um, so I wanted to point that out, that that there is very significant progress. So here's my moment, <laughs> but really, but really, don't worry, Zainab. I, I just want to uh, go back to the questions that were asked, that I, that were in my charge, really, and and uh, thanks to Zach's uh, commentary uh, or response, I got the sense that in my haste and my my irony, I may have glossed over some of serious heartfelt questions as, as I pass through. So I know Zach's, Zach's position. I just want to say that the comment about uh, audience curation, right? My, if it was my, my comment that you were referring to, because I think I made one, it's the irony of the opposition, the institution of the curator that, that I was trying to, to get at. And you, you know, you brought that fourth, right? And the other point, I forget your name, um, but the point about democracy, I wonder if you could make it for everyone, what you told me, because that's another one I cast aside. Um, yesterday, yesterday I almost forgot, but it was one of these speakers talked about uh, the, actually I do have it in my notes, the three parts, sort of the people who gather the data, the people who organize the data and the people who analyze the data <clears throat> and to me I see that as something that should be democratized because it appears that the people who will <clears throat> analyze the data will control it and I'd rather have those three steps more intertwined. Anything more coming from your questions, any reflections, those who had formulated the questions? Thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the speakers for coming. I mean, we're talking coming from very long distances, so we really appreciate you taking the time to come and uh, put your thoughts to the rest of us and challenge us. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Zainab and the OAG group for being amazing to work with. To Donna and the RMG group, thank you so much too for making this possible, making this space available. 
Thank you to our funders, thank you to our sponsors, uh, and thank you to all of you for coming out. I hope you come out again to the gallery. You're always welcome. Uh, beanbag chairs are always here. So thank you and have a safe, safe travels. Thank you.